so good morning students today our topic is uh, gymnosperms we have completed uh, algae bryophytes and pteridophytes in plant kingdom so today we going to start gymnosperms so first of all what is gymnosperm the meaning of gymno means naked and sperm means seed means these gymnosperms or this division of uh, pl uh, plant kingdom has naked seeds that means seeds are not enclosed inside a fruit as we see in case of angiosperms where seeds are enclosed in the fruit but not in case of gymnosperm that's why they are naked seeds so let's discuss about some characteristics of uh, gymnosperms uh, there are around 900 species of uh, gymnosperms uh, across the globe and out of 900 there are, there are approximately 500 species of gymnosperms uh, belong to coniferous or conifers okay so gymnosperms are mainly woody plant as you know they are mainly woody plant and are perennials they bear tap root system generally they bear tap root system and they may exhibit association with algae as well as with fungus when the roots of uh, gymnosperms they make an association with an algae those roots are known as corolloid roots like in case of cycles and if the roots of gymnosperms make association with fungus then this is known as mycorrhizal roots in case of pinus so there are two types of roots uh, which make association with either fungus or algae in order to enhance uh, uh, water absorption and minerals from the soil so leaves of gymnosperms are foliage and scaly leaves and leaves on the basis of their environmental conditions on the basis of uh, the situation or the changing climatic condition okay or the geographical condition leaves are either reduced needle like or large pinnately compound reduced leaves you would see in case of uh, ephedra Ephedra is a genus in gymnosperms which includes shrubs. Okay, bushy type gymnosperms like like you see in case of uh, uh, tundra. Okay, arctic vegetation. Needle like leaves like in case of pinus. You might have seen around you around uh, your home like pinus means cheer. This is the local language, man. Cheer ka pair. Usma apne dekha hoga ki needle like usme leaves rehte hain. And large pinnately compound leaves in case of cycas, like in Devdar. Usme ki ab log dekhte hain. Okay, the next is ovule is a orthotropous type. Orthotropous type means. Uh, in case of uh, gymnosperms and uh, <coughs> we would discuss about anatropous type of ovule in case of angiosperm that means generally uh, gym in gymnosperms ovule is orthotropous is orthotropous type like you see orthotropous is upright ovule with only single integument these are integument these are integuments. In case of angiosperms, you would see two integuments. So there is only one integument. Okay. And inside this integument, eggs will be developed. So there is only one integument and they are orthotropous type of ovule, upright structure. Okay. The main plant body is sporophytic. In case of uh, bryophyte, main plant body was gametophytic. In case of uh, pteridophyte, main plant body is sporophytic. And in gymnosperms, 
main plant body is also sporophytic and a gametophyte or gametophytic body is reduced okay female gametophyte constituted by haploid endosperm okay so haploid endosperm would form female gametophyte on which 2 to 8 archegonia present and neck this is important neck canals or neck canal cells are absent in case of uh, gymnosperms which are present in previous divisions sexual reproduction is oogamous type that means uh, the female gametophyte is stationary and the male gametophyte uh, reaches up to the female gametophyte with the help of uh, uh wind dispersal that's why the pollination is uh, anemophilous that means pollination is done by wind okay so this so uh, the pollinating agency is wind in case of gymnosperm they are non flowering and uh, seed producing okay so <coughs> let's discuss about the classification of gymnosperms they are classified into cycadophyta coniferophyta zincophyta and gynadophyta cycadophyta we would include mainly cycas coniferophyta include pinus zincophyta include a plant known as zinco and this zincobiloba zincobiloba plant is known as living fossil is very important isko note kar lijiyega zinco biloba is known as living fossil this gynadophyta this gynadophyta uh, actually uh, these plants or or gynadophyta these are uh, tropical green plants okay and unlike other gymnosperms unlike other gymnosperms they do possess xylem vessels or vessel elements in xylem which are which may be absent in other species of uh, gymnosperms okay so this is the first one we would discuss about this is coniferophyta means we would discuss about pinus okay so this coniferophyta or pinus is monoecious monoecious means male and female reproductive structures are present on the same plant body when we would write dicis that means male and female reproductive structures are present on different plants that means there is a different male plant as well as female plant but this coniferophyta or pinus is monoecious means male and female reproductive structures are present on the same plant they do have acropetal type of branching like this acropetal type of branching is present in gymnosperms when it comes to stem uh, they do have either long stem or dwarf stem if it is long stem or you can say the gymnosperm has very uh, they are very of a, they are of a very high uh, length you can say height is very huge in some gymnosperms the reason behind the long shoot and branch that means there is you can see over here there is a terminal bud at the top or at the apex or this terminal bud undergoes unlimited growth okay so there is long shoot branch or terminal bud which is present on the apex uh, side like right? so you can you can see over here there is that terminal bud is present at the apex which shows a limited growth and in case of dwarf shoot there is no terminal bud or there is no bud there is no bud actually this is terminal end so bud which is present on this end is known as terminal bud terminal bud so in, in dwarf shoot or in some species which have dwarf shoot or which are uh, very small in height plants they do not have any bud on this terminal position so that's why they do not show uh, much growth or they Uh, or their height is not, uh, you can say, uh, huge, as we see in case of long shoot branch terminal. Their their uh, bud is present on this terminal uh, point, 
shows uh, unlimited growth. When it comes to root, root they do have mycorrhizal root that means uh, association with the uh, fungus and here you can see the structure of a pinus tree oh okay so this is a uh, you can see a stem or trunk this is a leaf this is an axillary point or axillary bud from this axillary bud this uh, these scaly leaf scaly leaves originated and this scaly leaf actually the function of scaly leaf is to uh, provide protection to the uh, growing bud so these are scaly leaves and from scaly leaves there is a you can say the growth of or, or they get modified into foliage leaves these are foliage needle like foliage leaf these needle like foliage leaves actually perform photosynthesis and they are needle like that means uh, they ensures minimum loss of uh, water during the process of photosynthesis or you can say the transpiration rate is very minimum or uh, uh, generally negligible in case of uh, uh, pinus tree because they do have needle like leaf okay so due to having needle like leaf uh, they actually uh, modified just to avoid uh, extra loss of water molecules from the plant okay and you can see over here this is female corn corn is also known as strobilus so this female corn is present uh, here okay see and but uh, you can see the difference of for the pattern of female and male cone female cone is present over here just uh, near to the uh, origination of axillary bud but this may these male cones they do form a cluster like structure around the terminal bud this is terminal bud and male cones or male strobula or strobilus or strobili they do form a cluster like structure around the terminal bud okay so as we told you this is mauritius plant that means male and female reproductive structures are present on the same plant female cone and male cone okay so this would produce egg and this would produce a sperm and then fertilization would occur which we would discuss in the next lecture about the life cycle of uh, gymnosperms. So it's all about the introduction of gymnosperms. These are the characteristic feature, and uh, here you can see uh, the pinus tree structure, which do possess, which does possess female strobili or cone, as well as the male cone on the same plant. That's why they are known as monocytous plants. They do have scaly leaves, which protects which protect the axillary bud okay and this foliage leaf needle like foliage leaf which perform photosynthesis and also they minimize the loss of water or transpiration rate so in the next lecture we will discuss about the life cycle thank you